Hi guys, it's me Annie and I'm back with another video. Welcome to Annie's Creations. On my channel I do all kinds of DIY cooking and crafting. So if you like that kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. For today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy sewing tutorial on how to make a coffee cup sleeve. These sleeves are very handy and it helps you not burn your fingers off when you get a cup of coffee in this kind of takeaway mug. Now this coffee sleeve is made for a large coffee cup and I will link down below the template that I use to create this sleeve. It's very easy to make and you can make quite a few and give them out as gifts. This one I made for my son's teacher because she is leaving at the end of the year. So this will be a going away gift. We will add a little coffee card with it and give it as a teacher's gift. This is also a great gift to give as a stocking stuffer for Christmas and can also be given any time of the year. Very handy to have. This coffee cup sleeve I made with a button and it is also reversible. So if you do not like the green, you can also change it around and make it into flowers. All you need to do is wrap it around your coffee cup and attach the button. Put it around the button and now you won't burn your fingers when picking up your coffee cup. So this is quite easy to make and it's reversible and the best thing is you can make it with scrap fabric. So let's get sewing and I will show you just how easy it is to make this coffee cup sleeve. So today we're going to do another scrappy fabric tutorial I'm going to be making a coffee cup sleeve to go around a standard large coffee cup like this so we've got two cotton fabrics that's in contrast colors and we need some fusible fleece or a lining for the inside to create a barrier and also we're going to need some buttons as well as some elastic and I've got this sleeve template I will link it in the description box down below so you can print it out and make it for yourself I will cut the fabric using this template. First I will just pin the template onto my fabric so it doesn't shift when I'm cutting. Just like that and I will be cutting about a quarter inch seam allowance around this template. So about a centimeter or a finger thickness. So let's just cut it out. Now we've got two pieces of cotton fabric in contrasting colors. I am ready to cut out a piece of fusible fleece as well. Mm -hmm. 
first you need the rough bumpy side on top and you place your inner lining fabric on the rough bumpy side so now you go and iron it on so it will stick Now I've got my lined fabric and I've got my outer fabric and we place it right sides together and then we're going to stitch all around using a quarter inch seam allowance. On the short side I'll leave a two centimeter gap so that I am able to flip this inside out. Remember, we want to leave a 2 cm gap, so I'm going to start sewing here. Cut off all the excess fabric so the seam won't be bulky and make sure not to cut your stitching. Now I'm ready to use this opening at the top and to turn this inside out. I'm using my little handy dandy chopstick back of the stick to poke out all the corners and follow along the seam and make it look nice and crisp. And now that I've done that, I'm just going to go over to the iron and iron it nice and flat. I will also fold in this raw edge to the inside and iron that nice and flat so I can stitch it together. Now you're going to cut a piece of elastic depending on your button size will depend on how long your elastic needs to be and you can fold it in half and stick it into the little gap that's still there and then you take a pin and pin it into place. And now you're going to sew and backstitch over the elastic to make it nice and secure and then you will sew all around the sleeve on the border to give it a nice finish and a professional look. Just cut off all the stragglers and you've got your elastic nicely secured and the edge has a nice professional finish.
So you take your cup and your sleeve and you wrap it around and see more or less where you want your button to sit. Take a pen and make a mark. Now I'll just sew on the button into place. You've got your button on the one side, but to make the sleeve reversible, you need to put another button on the other side as well and sew it on. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please press that like button so I know to make more content like this. This coffee cup sleeve is very handy to have and I'm sure Xavier's teacher will enjoy it. So give it a go, make a few and give it out as gifts. It's really easy to do and I hope you try it. This is all I have for you today, but I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.